In this video, I'm going to show you something really cool you can create as a gift for people for this holiday season and bring AI into the real world. If you like videos like this, make sure to hit the thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss tutorials like this one. All right, let's get started. Here we are in Swarm. You can do this in pretty much any uh, Stable Diffusion interface. And I'm going to give you the Comfy workflow so that you can install it, whether you're using Swarm or just Comfy. And we'll take a quick look at the, the Comfy workflow. So what we have here is we have our model loader that goes into our positive prompt, negative prompt, and we have sizing for SDXL. And this is going to be really important. You'll see that I have my aspect ratio set to two by seven, because what we're actually going to create is bookmarks, printable bookmarks, something that you can print off on your printers at home. And if you have a laminator, you can make really, really nice bookmarks. You can see here that we have our case sampler. We have an upscaler to go to ultra sharp 4x. As you know, this is my favorite upscaler and then our output. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the generate tab and we're going to scroll down and we're going to go to custom workflow and we're going to do the bookmark upscale. So that's going to be the upscaling bookmark. So that's going to give us a two by seven. And now if we run the same generation that we just ran, we will get a two by seven aspect ratio image that we can then put into Photoshop or put into a print program and print as a bookmark. Okay, so here we go. Now we have our little bookmark here that we've created. So that's kind of neat. Now let's say we want to get a little more festive, right? So what we'll do is we'll do a winter scene in the mountains style paper art and generate. And there we go. We can see that we've created our bookmark again. And I like the paper art style. Um, and the reason why is it gives it a little bit of dimension. Um, it's created as if it was things cut out of paper and then layered on top of each other. So it gives it a little bit of dimension, but we have this beautiful bookmark here ready to go. And it's really that simple. So what we can do is I'm going to save this and we're going to go into Photoshop and I'm going to show you the process in Photoshop. Okay. So here, here we are in Photoshop and this is how I like to set mine up. So I go to print first. So I'm getting 300 DPI and for a bookmark, you want your bookmarks by two by seven inches or whatever size you prefer, but the standards two by seven and we're going to have it in the vertical and we're going to go ahead and click create. Okay, there we go. So now we have our box here. And what we can do is we can drag our bookmark in. And it's a little bit off aspect ratio wise. So we're just going to correct that. And there we go. And you can see we have enough resolution to do this. So that's not too bad. And now what we have is we have our bookmark in a two by seven aspect ratio ready uh, for print. So how do we print? So what we're going to do is we're going to merge the two layers together. I'm going to unlock the bottom layer. I'm going to merge them, the layers together and I'm going to do a quick crop just to make sure we're in that two by seven aspect ratio. We don't want any of the extra stuff on top. And I'm going to go file new print eight and a half by 11 create and go to my file here, drag it over and drop it in place. And I want this as centered as possible. And what I'm going to do is I am going to duplicate this a few times. So generally four per page. What we want to do is get them evenly spaced. So about there is fine. I'm just holding shift and click as I'm moving them. So we get that even spacing. I'm going to grab the group of bookmarks, group it, select the bottom layer and center an image. Make sure it's completely centered. And that way, if you flip these images completely, you can flip the page over and print them again. If you have double sided printed cardstock, if you don't, you can print them on one side and they'll look fine. And now we have a printable file with the bookmarks in place. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, make sure I hit the thumbs up, 
the subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss tutorials like these. And I'll see you guys next time.